Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of odd and even numbers. This is standard 3.4i in the great state of Texas. We're using item number 22 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So it looks like we have a pretty simple problem today. We just need to figure out what is true about the number 34, but you notice that every answer is going to either be about whether it's odd or whether it's even. So in third grade, we learn about odd and even through the use of a big term called divisibility rules. And you will build on this as you get older. Right now, odd and even is just going to look at divisibility rules by 2. So is a number divided by 2? Can it be divided evenly without anything left over? If yes, then it is an even number. If no, it is an odd number. So let's look at a few simple examples. So the number 5. The number 5, if I were to try to split it into two equal groups, I can just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You notice they are uneven because I've got 3 here and I've got 2 here. I cannot make them two equal groups. Therefore, 5 is an odd number. If I were to take a number like 10, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Two equal groups. 5 and 5, therefore it is even. Now, let's first look at number 34. Let's see if we can do this here. And then we will look at some more divisibility rules, and we'll figure out why this is odd or even. Because even if it is one or the other, there's two odd answers, and there's two even answers. We'll have to figure it out. So first, let's just figure out, is it odd or even? So I'm going to give myself some room. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, I've noticed that I can split 10 evenly, so I'm just going to do another 10 on each side. So that's another 5 on each side for another 10. So that's 20. I can do another 10. So you can kind of short-circuit it a little bit rather than going 1 to 1. I've got 15 on each side, and that's 30. So now I'm just going to do 31, 32, 33, 34. So look, I've got 17 on each side, which means this is going to be an even number. So we can go ahead and mark off F and H. But I'm going to choose between G and J. It's even because it can be divided by 2 evenly. Well, it can be divided by 2 evenly. It's divided into two sets of 17, we can say 34 divided by 2 equals 17. And when it says evenly, that means uh, nothing left or no remainders, nothing left over, or there's not any unequal groups. Look what G says, though. It's even because the digit in the tens place is even. Well, first off, that is a digit in the tens place, but it's not even, so... That's definitely not going to be it, which means our answer is going to be J. But even if the digit in the tens place was even, it doesn't really matter. Here's the thing with odd and even. We did 5, we did 10. We could do every single number. We could do 1, we could do 2, 3, 4. We could do every single one. This is what we find. The ones place is what matters. The ones place. So let's look at this ones place. So if the ones place place has a digit of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. You notice I'm skip counting by 2s. They're even. If a 1's place has a digit of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, they're odd. Try with any number. It doesn't matter how big or how small. If I'm looking at 497, I know that is odd without doing anything because it has a 7. In the ones place, if I got 1,246,380, I know it's even, it has a zero in the ones place. 